Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and this is SI Units Part 2, the kilogram. We're going to look at exactly how the kilogram has been defined throughout history and how it is currently defined and how it may be defined in the future. So originally, one gram was defined as the mass of one milliliter of water at four degrees Celsius. Be this was because water's density varies at different temperatures. So only at 4 degrees Celsius is it 1 gram a milliliter. So 1 kilogram was then 1,000 grams. The issue with this is that you can never really have pure water because gases dissolve quite easily in water, and thus density varies. And remember, the International Bureau of Weights and Measures is really, really picky. So they came up with this, the International Prototype Kilogram, an alloy of iridium and platinum, which is sealed under a vacuum under three bell jars. Now, this has some official copies made, and even those official copies have to be sealed under two bell jars, and it gets absolutely ridiculous if you want to take these things anywhere. But we can see over time, still there's a variation among the copies when compared to the original prototype kilogram. Now because the prototype kilogram is equal to one kilogram, we have to show the variations as the copies. But this suggests that the system is not perfect, so we have to look for other things. One suggestion is to define the mole exactly, and then create a sphere of silicon that is a certain number of moles that has a mass of exactly one kilogram. Of course, the International Bureau of Weights and Measures prefers that we define it as a fundamental constant of nature. As since 1960, it has been the only SI unit defined by an object. They've suggested Planck's constant, but delayed decision until 2014. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe. Leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time.